Winning government contracts can be really hard. There's so much paperwork, confusing requirements, and tons of competition. It's overwhelming. But what if there was an easy way? What if you could save time, cut through the confusion, and focus on winning? That's where AI comes in. Hi, I'm Hisham, and today I'm going to show you how AI can make landing government contracts way easier. And I'm going to do it every step of the way. From finding the right opportunities, to understanding every single detail, and even writing a proposal, AI can take a lot of stress off your plate. Let me show you how. Here's the first problem, finding contracts. There are hundreds of thousands of opportunities out there, and finding the right one for your business can take forever. Then, there's understanding the requirements. Government contracts have a lot of technical terms and jargon, and understanding them can take a lot of effort. And finally, writing a proposal. It takes a ton of time, and the pressure to get it perfect can be overwhelming. That's where AI makes a huge difference. It's made to handle the hard stuff for you. AI helps you quickly search for contracts that are perfect match for you, so there's no need for endless scrolling trying to look for a government contract. It also breaks down these complicated requirements into simple, easy to understand steps, so you know exactly what you need to do. And when it's time to writing a proposal, the big scary task, AI helps you write the first draft and easily edit it. AI makes this whole process easier, faster, and way less stressful. Well. Now let me show you a tool that brings all of this together. It's called Sam Search. So let's see it in action. Okay. So once I'm logged here into my Sam Search account, uh, based on my profile, I get featured uh, contracts daily. So these are contracts that are interesting to me based on my profile. So my profile right now, I have a laundry service uh, company. And based on that, I was uh, featured some of these contracts, which are which is nice. And I also have saved opportunities. So these are contracts that I looked into and wanted to kind of explore uh, more. But let's say we want to look deep into these uh, government contracts. So we can come to the search bar here, and then we can select between federal and SLED. So SLED is a state level, local and education contracts for all the states. And there are 250 plus websites that are covered and the federal uh, uh, contracts, uh, of course, as well. So with this, with AI, it, could, it can easily understand what I'm talking about. So I just say laundry services. There's no need to specifically mention a NAICS code. There's no need to get the exact same word. I can just type in what I what I want, and it will understand that. Uh, the the second thing that makes it uh, easier is it gives you a summary. A lot of these have titles like this: PR, and then a number, and then in this case, it's understandable what they're talking about. But in a lot of cases, it's a lot of jargon in the title. So you have to click through it, go to the description. With this, I'm able to see uh, AI-generated summary. Uh, so, for example, this one, Department of Defense has issued a solicitation for clinical laundry services, uh, and then the deadline is December 6th, and then it gives the next code, laundry services, and so on. So if I'm a laundry service, I this is interesting, I could save it, uh, or I could click on it and read more into it. Uh, we Here we have the AI-generated summary, and then we have all the details laid out in an easy-to-understand way. And then we have the description and the attachments. Sometimes these solicitations have a lot of attachments, and, and so you have to review all of them. Uh, but the good thing about uh, Sam Search is you can come here and click on chat. With this, you'll be able to ask a question about all the attachments and description, and it will give you exactly answer with a source. So for example, if we ask, what is the deadline? So we get back that the deadline is December 6. Let's say, for example, we can ask what our evaluation criteria we get back that the evaluation criteria includes surveillance matrix that specifies various performance objectives uh, we get delivery pickup transportation of items processing clean linen packaging services documentation maintenance uh, labeling service so it covers uh, specifically what the evaluation criteria is for example we can ask what are the requirements so we get back hygiene certifications scheduled services general responsibility, obviously with a the source, so where this is coming from. There's also uh, the pickup schedule, special handling, approved packaging and labeling. So you get a summary of the main requirements. So let's say, uh, is there information on pricing and budget? In case they have that, we want to know what we should expect for pricing and budget. Okay, so we get information of some of the key items listed. So shirts, 14,000 units. Browsers, 14,000 units, sheets, beds. Uh, this information can assist bidders in formulating their pricing proposal. 
Uh, however, there are no specific dollar amounts mentioned for pricing. So we, we are given the units and based on that, we have to give them our best price. So now I automatically know what to expect, how big this job is from the amount of shirts, hand towels, sheets, and so on. Uh, and then we could ask something, for example, like, uh, what's the timeline for milestones? Okay, so we get service frequency for two different buildings. They will be picked up twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays from 10 a.m. Uh, yeah, between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. And then no service days. There are no service days. There's quality control milestones, contract duration. It's It lays it out easily. Now we can ask something like generate matrix of compliance. And now it's generating a table with the matrix of compliance. So you know exactly what you have to have in your uh, proposal. So as you see, in a few minutes, we were able to get all of this data that kind of gave us a solid information, solid idea of what this opportunity is about with no need to go through all of these long documents. Well, now we're ready to submit a bit for this. What we can do is we can click on generate and then here we can generate an outline. What this is doing, it will take your business profile that you have to fill in here. I have already filled it in and it will take that information and take the information from the uh, opportunity you are submitting a bit for and it'll generate an outline. So we're gonna go here and click on generate outline. We just have to wait for it uh, to generate that. Okay, so now that it's done generating an outline, we wanna go through this and modify it uh, so it matches exactly what we want. So for example, this one, the summary, I could change the length of the pages. I, For example, if I think two pages too much, I could change that. And then I could come here and change the writing plan for that section. So here, I, for example, I could just say, highlight the importance of compliance and standards quality of methods i could say here mention for example briefly my past performances something like that if, if for example i see that a section is not needed i could just come here and remove it it's very important to go through this and, and change the writing plan because it will influence the quality of the pro proposal that's going to be generated uh, so for example if i i'm just for the sake of this i'm going to make try and make this short because i don't want to spend a lot of time on this but you get the idea that for so understanding the requirements, this is important to detail, detailing that we understand what the solicitation specifically is asking about in terms of certifications, pickup time, timeline, uh, and so on. Past performances, we could just keep, keep this one page um, and so on. You just spend five, five minutes, even less, uh, going through the writing plan. It's very important because it will influence, like I said, the quality of the proposal. And there we have it. Now we have an outline. Uh, I'm gonna click generate proposal. And with that, 90% of my job is done. Um, I'll just wait for it to finish writing uh, the proposal and then talk again. I'll show you how to edit this also uh, using AI. Okay, so now that it's done generating the proposal, it's very important that we go through this and see that it has written exactly what we expect and we want it to write. Uh, and then we can utilize the chat with the proposal here to make modifications uh, and just make it better in general. For example, let's say I want this part, I want to expand on this. So I could just say, expand more on this. And it will generate something that will expand more on this part. All I have to do right now is to take this, copy and paste, and uh, we're done. Uh, for example, I could say, well, it's expanding a lot. Okay. I could say the exact opposite. For example, I can come here and say, uh, for example, for this, make this shorter. And you, you can obviously ask it more significant uh, stuff. So you could say, uh, for example, mention uh, this specific past performance I had uh, in this paragraph, uh, something like that. It just makes it easier for you to edit this. Um, and then once you're ready and you, you are confident with the quality of the proposal you have, you reviewed all of it, all you have to do is come here and click on download and it will be downloaded as a Word document that's ready to submit. One more thing I want to mention, for these examples, I usually do laundry, I, I do cleaning, I do stuff like that just for the simplicity, but we have all government, con all federal government contracts and all state government contracts as well. We have 250 plus uh, websites covered in our database. So uh, no matter what your niche is, you will find government contracts for that niche. I hope this was helpful. You can get a seven day free trial of Sam Search, link in the description below. And if you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.